Come on, surely you reload and you can fire now. No firing whatsoever. Well, I misjudged that one quite badly. I'm going to put those on fire and melee and see what happens. Nope, they're all going to have to be on melee, those, I'm afraid. We don't seem to get any firing in there at all against those. Very disappointing. That's because I wasn't really watching them, I think. I was concentrating too much over here. Now, what I will do is send those horsemen after those. These are the ones that came back, if you remember. So, I'll take those out. That's still mine, so that horse can't come around there. So, what I'll do is we'll just see if we can take those out. We're just trying to reduce his troops as much as we can, so it costs him a fortune to fight these wars. How are we doing here, lads? 93 out of 120. It's not looking as good as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to send some <coughs> uh, grenadiers in there, just to boost them up a little bit with their melee attack. Right, he seems to be routing now. I hope. No, he's just wavering, actually. No, he's routing now, he's broken. Okay, so we're going to get our chaps now back on. Now, I'll pull those back, we don't need you. Come on, lads. Get yourself organised. Right. No, we didn't need you. Okay, so we're going to get these back into uh, melee, uh, sorry, into um, uh, musketry formation. And we should be loaded from last time. These boys should be able to fire. You just need to get your act together, lads. Come on, it's all about firing at the enemy. 74 against about out of 120. Right. Come on, I don't know what you're waiting for. Now is your chance to fire. And what are they going to do? They're going to reload. down to 68. We're down to 66 and you're not firing. Come on lads, surely you can fire. Right, now then. Might have to, might be tempted just to bring those out. I don't really want to. Um, now, I have to be careful here now because what I'm going to do is hit them with my um, howitzers. Now that's a bit risky because if he starts to move forward, I could be in trouble. Okay. Right, he's routing there now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move those out of the way. I'm going to bring some from the back because those chaps there are struggling a bit. Right. I'm going to move those over from there and I'm going to get them to run over. So we're going to send some reinforcements in basically because those chaps are struggling a bit. When they get into that position there, I'm going to move those chaps over to the position where I've drawn them from. How are they doing? 7 out of 120 there. Okay, So we seem to have got rid of quite a few of those. That was quite handy. Are they nearly there? I think they're nearly there. They're close enough anyway for me to bring these chaps over to this side anyway I think. Okay, And we'll run those around there. We kept them up to 64 which is good news because um, they're above 60, so when I replenish them, they will still retain the two chevrons, which is important to me. Now, he, he seems to have been attacking me in this outhouse here. What have I got? This outbuilding. 68 out of 120, 95 out of 120. So he's got troops in there as well, which are likely to appear from here. When they appear from there, we should then be able to give them some pretty decent fire. OK, so what I'm waiting for now, in the remaining, what have we got, 4 minutes 45 seconds, I'm hoping for all his cavalry to come charging through here, so that we can... What's he got there? Armed peasantry. I don't think we'll worry too much about those. Burger lancers. Should we hit those a bit? Why not? What else has he got over here? Got any decent infantry here? Burger lancers. Silly dar lancers. Well, we've got to hit somebody with the artillery, so we'll hit those. What we don't want to be doing is 
hitting anything that's too close to our own men. Right, uh, we'll just have a quick look over where those uh, cavalry are. They should have wiped out that infantry by now. Well, there's seven of them left. I don't think it's possible for seven men to come on back onto the field, so we won't worry too much about those. I'm just going backwards now because I'm going to put them right back in their little box. Yeah, ready to be used again. Right, speed them through. Okay, so we've refreshed our troops on this side. That's one of the advantages to a square formation, or indeed any sort of um, grouped formation like this. You can borrow troops from one side and move them over to another. So we seem to be firing at something. We these chaps seem to have occupied this building now. No, they're coming out. Ah, here they go. Or are they mine? <laughs> yep, no, they're mine. <laughs> so it looks like I, I would expect you come out after them. You know, really. W there you go. There they are. Okay, what have we got there? 69 out of 120. Hindu musketeers. So he's chased me out of there. He's suffered accordingly, though, hasn't he? 69 out of 120. Now we should start firing at those any minute now. I would certainly expect so, anyway. Come on, lads. What are you doing? There you go, they're all firing. Yep, all reloading. There we go, one or two of them went down. Oh, 46. There's quite a few of them went down there. Oh, quite a few uh, bodies around the place. You can tell there's definitely been a battle going on. These chaps will be being, getting a bit tired now, thinking who on earth is going to dig all of those graves? Or perhaps we'll just do one very big one. There we go, we've got another load there. They're routing, and they're routing. Now remember I've got Chevrolet free around here, so what I'm going to do is go back to my little box that I've got my cavalry in. And I'm going to get... Where are you? Come on. I know you're here somewhere. Right, oh, straight over the wall. Right, so what I'm going to do, here are the, uh, oh no, not those, I want the cavalry. Let's, let's choose them down here. Okay, so all I'm going to do is charge them straight up here first. That way, just zoom up a bit, move up a bit. That way I'm not charging them across here. If I'd have asked them to charge directly to there, they could have gone straight across here. And if they went straight across there, they'd have gone straight across my own Chevrolet Free, which is, at the very least, unwise. Okay, we've got some here that look like they come through the gate, but they obviously haven't done because the gate belongs to me. So, right. I wonder if they're just going for these. Well, if they are, we don't mind. We'll, we'll fight you. Well, we don't mind that. There's only 47 of you. We're on ramparts. We're defending our own, um, our own town. So we should be able to fight fairly effectively from there. Okay, here's the first lot of cavalry. We're now clear of the Chevrolet de Free, so we're quite happy to go charging in there. And these can have the back ones. The idea is we clear away as many of these as we possibly can. I'd like to be taking out artillery as well, but unfortunately it means that I have to come outside the fortress and attack him. And he's got cleverer about that. He's defending his... What the, oh, they're mine. That's okay. He's defending the artillery with his cavalry, which is exactly what you should do. Okay, 39 out of 45. We'll not worry too much about those. Just um, keeping a watchful eye on the gates, because if he suddenly charges through... What are they? Oh, they're his. Right. If he suddenly starts to charge through this gate here, he could actually end up going into... Ah. I don't want to go through this gate there. If I chase those through the gate, I'm not sure I can, to be honest, but if I did... There's 30 of them left as well. That's a shame, isn't it? I don't want them to get away. Then those cavalry that he's got outside, he had some around here somewhere. There they are. They would have attacked them. So I'd have lost those in a flank attack. I've lost my men in a flank attack. Instead, we're going to focus both our um, cavalry units, both our light cavalry units, against his um, uh, the troops that, are, that have remained inside. So they, they boxed a bit clever, actually, didn't they? Because they got through the gate. Uh, these were going for the wall couldn't get up the steps quickly enough. Right, now, I've got much long, longer left now. Uh, 1 minute 41 seconds. And I should, with a little bit of luck, be able to inflict a bit more damage on him in that time. Quite a few Phylok armed infantry got injured there, or killed. Got a few of his around, of course, as well. And the camelry coming down. 